Welcome to this week's Footy Fix Hall of Fame edition. With the Hall of Fame coming up in round 13, these will be the Guernseys that we'll be wearing. Stakes, what are your thoughts? I reckon they're good, Charmo. They, uh, they fit well, they're a good look, and they uh, a bit of heritage amongst it. But first, let's talk about some footy stakes. Uh, the weekend, North Melbourne. Um, yes, it was a bad first half, but our second half was terrific. There was really good spirit. If the game had gone 10, 15 minutes longer, there's no doubt that we wouldn't have won. Otherwise, we had to uh, have a better start. So it yeah, was a good game in the end. Certainly when you uh, when you have a, a bad start like that, it's very hard to come back on. But uh, a good effort from the, uh, from the boys to fight back. So the inaugural Hall of Fame, there's been some great players, some great administrators and some great coaches from the Brisbane Bears, uh, Fitzroy Lions and uh, obviously the Brisbane Lions stakes. Yeah, so we thought we'd share some memorable and exciting moments from the, uh, from the past year. So we'll, uh, we found these in the archives. Take a look. The first is from Fitzroy's round 11 game in 1992 where captain Paul Ruse snapped a goal in a dying seconds to clinch victory. Ruse's left foot kick. Next, we've got Daryl White, who kicked the goal from the boundary line. It wasn't hard enough, so he used the torpedo punch armo to slot the goal. And we can't have a memorable moment without Vossi. And this one's a massive goal he kicked in round 9, 2000. Looks about 70 metres, but every time I hear the story, it gets longer. Charmo, lastly, who can forget probably the most courageous mark of all time, Brownie's mark of the year in 2002. What an absolute beauty! That is a Unbelievable. We're taking on the top side this week in West Coast Stakes. How do you see it? Uh, mate, they're playing some very fast football, so we can't, can't get caught up in taking the game on as quick as they do, so we've just got to control the ball. Mate, uh, the ex-wife, uh, yep. the uh, West Coast Eagles. Yep. Mate, uh, will you catch up with a few boys while you're here? Mate, I will. I've got some good friends there, so I'll, uh, I'll definitely uh, have a chat to a few of the lads. That's great. Let's hear from Vossi what he has to say. You know, I think every time you walk into a contest, there's always that uh, there's always that expectation that you're coming to be able to win the game. So um, that's that's the reality. That's the competitor in you. Um, so you know, we know that we're playing against a good side. Uh, they've been fairly consistent. They're, they've emerged as uh, you know, obviously a top four side over the last uh, couple of years. So it's something for us to be able to make sure that we can certainly try and emulate. Spot, Spot on, Vossi. Thanks for joining us and. Uh, for all the Footy Fix fans out there, we've got some big things coming up in the next couple of weeks, so watch on. Uh, Stakes? Yes, mate. Uh, don't forget to log on to lions.com.au to purchase your ticket for the uh, Hall of Fame dinner. They're selling pretty quick, Charmo. Mate, they're almost sold out. So, uh, And also, jump on our we website and get one of these jerseys. I think they look pretty smart on you, Stakes. Well, thanks, Charmo. You look good if you're still playing too, mate. <laughs> so uh, thanks for joining us on this week's Footy, Footy Fix. Fix. Welcome to this week's Footy Fix Hall of Fame dinner. <laughs> Mate, uh, the old ex-wife, what will it be like? Uh, will you catch up with a few of the old boys while you're here? Uh, oh, look, I've got some good friends there, Charmo, so I'll probably have a coffee on Saturday, but uh, purely uh, purely just friends. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> and Charmo, lastly... Who no, can... no, ramp it up. <laughs> ramp, really ramp it up. No, it's not good enough. No. <laughs> you look ahead, and then when I turn my head, you go like that. No, you go that. What I do, <laughs> baby, I need you, I want you to. <laughs> it's not even the words. <laughs>